and recording is on. Hello and welcome to our next uh, part in the series of writing a code editor in Zig. Last time uh, we uh, stopped at uh, basically printing something to the screen and uh, now uh, I spent some time writing it. Uh, we have uh, some more abstractions like uh, key and uh, UI, which is supposed to be a generic user interface abstraction and an event dispatcher. I thought maybe we should have some kind of uh, an event listener that's going to respond to all the events. The idea behind that is uh, that we can have both uh, synchronous and asynchronous events. For example, the easiest way to do it is to uh, set a while true loop and uh, just wait for key presses. But uh, the thing is that we, ha we can have asynchronous events uh, like uh, the file we are editing was updated by another program and uh, we want to reload it. Uh, to show the new content. This is an example of an asynchronous event. So in the end uh, we will have to uh, somehow include them. right? So uh, for now uh, I thought about uh, our interface. We should uh, maybe start with something that is fun and uh, for now the very first thing to do is to build an interface just display something on the screen, right? I thought that uh, new courses implementation is uh, it's uh, very frustrating to build uh, bindings to. Uh, here I have uh, some new courses. Uh, this this file it is already uh, uh, a thousand and a half lines of code for the binding and it is maybe a third of uh, all everything that is that is in new courses right and uh, i don't think i will ever finish it it also has very confusing things uh, like uh, with uh, wide character support for utf8 and without uh, and uh, you have to supply compile flags and uh, I'm just not sure I'm ready to deal with all this complexity. At first I thought that maybe uh, this new courses library is a fast start library so we can hack something fa fast and go from there. Um, but now I think maybe we can actually exercise uh, our power to write everything from scratch. Right? There is a saying. I think it's called like this one. Um, na yeah, not invented here. Is a tendency of to avoid using or bind products, research standards, or knowledge from external origins. Yeah, it is usually adopted uh, by social, corporate, or institutional cultures. I guess. We are social, we're not co corporate or institutional. I, I don't think I understand what institutional culture is. Research illustrates a strong bias against ideas from the outside. Well, we are for ideas uh, from the outside. We are happy to use ideas from the outside, but uh, we also want to rethink it, you know, like um, when a designer gets some uh, some pattern or, or how to say some draft, right? And uh, uh, to the designer manager says something like, "Here is a draft. Do this one, but rethink it." Yeah, something like that. This is what we basically want to do, I think. Uh, and so we will also do it in Zeek, which will increase the power to. Uh, like the ability to hack on it and improve it uh, and uh, use it for all the specific uh, use cases. I agree that this is a bit uh, maybe far too much work 
uh, than uh, adopting existing solutions and it has some downsides but we will roll with that okay um term pejorative sense or pejorative i don't know the exact meaning yeah something negative something disrespectful okay so let's uh, begin uh, with uh, some abstractions again we have this uh, printing this is basically uh, all the new courses uh, stuff that we have and uh, we can now kind of dissect it in different parts we can call it uh, like also put it in some struct which later will be a separate file uh, and we can call it something like uh, initialize uh, draw and uh, wait for a key event something like that all right let's uh, put it uh, here no big deal where to put it pop const and we will call it we have uh, UI and uh, UI is supposed to be a general interface and uh, we will build an implementation of uh, interface. Right, so we can put it either in UI struct or to create a new file. Yeah, I think new file is better. We can just uh, do something like that. UI VT100 this vt100 is like an ancient terminal like a real hardware terminal like uh, when you just boot up your linux machine or mac os machine if they have it yeah i think mac os doesn't have it and on linux you can press Control alt uh, F1 or F2, F3, and it will get you to the real hardware terminal, as I understand. And VT is like an ancient dinosaur of hardware terminals. It's uh, from what I've read, uh, this VT established uh, some uh, like uh, NC escape codes, uh, which were widely used after that, and uh, now it is de facto standard of how to display things on the terminal and uh, every modern uh, terminal for example this is uh, kitty i use kitty terminal like so like kitty uh, there is alacrity another terminal uh, and uh, like i term for mac os uh, x term somewhere else uh, a lot of them and they all speak uh, these uh, ANSI escape codes and we will for convenience call it uh, UIVT100 all right so we want to implement some functions mm -hmm. we want to initialize we want to draw like a full draw first draw when we just load a file and we want to read a character from the standard input i believe this is how we are going to do it all right let's start uh, by writing init function so far we don't know what it is going to take but uh, let's just start there so uh on the terminals there is there are some ancient uh, ancient things uh, and uh, for that we will use uh, the proof of concept editor it is called kilo uh, let me find do i have it oh uh, yeah i think i have it here kilo This is a very cool thing. It's like uh, 1K uh, uh, C code, and uh, it is uh, not like usable, but it is a very solid proof of concept. And I also have the sources downloaded uh, here somewhere. Kilo, right? Okay, so now we will need uh, to initialize 
do some initialization enable raw mode so does it have initial yeah let's get to the main function init editor so we basically want this thing update window size signal okay so update window size yeah we should also care about window size as well so i guess we should uh, just copy everything that uh, here at the beginning at least uh, let's uh, let's see what this update window size function actually does okay get window size screen rows unable to query the screen mm -hmm. so we first get our size and then we Oh, okay, and uh, this is, uh, we get the number of uh, lines we have, and we reserve two lines at the bottom for the status bar. And uh, do we need to do something here in this function? So, not yet. It uh, just uh, does uh, some syscalls and retrieves uh, the necessary dimensions of the opened of the space real estate we have in the terminal i think we don't need this one uh, highlights yeah we don't need highlight yet editor open we already have that it it opens a file and uh, we should have it already if i remember correctly Ah, yeah, we have even a special function. It doesn't read from standard input yet, so we can do something like this. Right, so far this doesn't work. Yeah, we, we even have a nice error message if we don't supply a file, but we will do it later. And uh, enable raw mode, I believe this is our bread and butter. So, uh, let's... Uh, let's just call it like so i guess enable raw mode well no it's just we'll have an init we'll use a slightly different naming okay so first thing to, we should do is uh, name uh, like get uh, our std, std, std in file number uh, let's do it um, UIVT, yeah, we'll have uh, the standard library of NIM already should have something like that. STD in. No, okay, maybe Linux. Zik. Uh, maybe get uh, STD out, something like that. Um, get std get std um, maybe we can grab it get std in oh it's in io all right get std in handle so we will have uh, our std in which you will have a yeah, so far we'll use, uh, maybe, yeah, maybe o OS will use it quite often. OS dot um, FDT. So we will need it uh, in a couple of places, but maybe we still have to need this one. So maybe it is going to be a file instead. Yeah. Oops. File. Yeah. Maybe. Um. Io file. Io dot file. And we'll have Io. 
Is this good? What is it? Expected while suspense um, syntax error, I guess. Mm. It is a type, right? Let's see where the file comes from. File import fs file file. Okay, we can do that. Um, stdfs file stdfs file okay still not expected while blah blah, blah. Uh, did we mess something here no not yet uh, let's run it I don't understand why it doesn't want to work invalid token identifier Maybe I don't know how to write Zeek. Oh, struct. Yeah, sometimes it happens. So on init, we will uh, definitely output our UIVT100 and uh, we will create it at the, very, at the very end. We'll return it. UIVT UIVT. It's a bit un uncomfortable to type it and uh, all the capital letters. Uh, uh, yeah, let's. Uh, we will have to use uh, this std in before. So uh, let's just define it. Uh, IO get std in io get std in okay seems right and we will supply this here too the reason we supply it and not just uh, call this function all the time is uh, because we might have scenarios where our standard input uh, is going to be something else maybe like in testing scenarios where we want to test something and we want to read our input uh, from the file not from the actual terminal uh, std in okay now we can uh, do some magic struct term ios raw okay um if is tty standard input file no no fatal okay so we check that uh, we want uh, our input to be a terminal I wonder what happens if it is a pipe is it still uh, a terminal or not probably not okay and we have a disable raw mode yeah so what uh, we do here is that uh, we have some initial config right so here or rig term ios we have initial config and uh, we want to save it then modify it use it and when we exit our editor we want to also uh, remove all the test settings we added so we don't leave the terminal in the broken state after that uh, okay let's uh, do some things like here zik has uh, term ios if i remember correctly this um term ios dot zig okay maybe it has something here right in this file term ios okay maybe it is in os module yep we have here our functions that we will use to save and modify the state okay now we do just copy what we have here and uh, <laughs> raw mode 1960 magic shit yeah I can relate to that right 
let's start with uh, we need a structure term IOS okay well raw it is of type OS dot term IOS is this correct um, we should get it somewhere because uh, it is a type and uh, we need to get info where this type is defined maybe these, there is a using numspace somewhere o OS bits okay so it means that we are in OS bits can we find it in OS bits ah, so I suppose no if we use using namespace and pub that means that we will have every symbol in OS bits also imported in this module and this module will re-export uh, every symbol in here so we can use os.term.io Ter term what's the term i os yes I'm not sure how to correctly pronounce it will have type OS term iOS and it is undefined because we should initialize it at least to something and we don't want to initialize it yet okay so we have it here like so if not is a TTY go to fatal Okay, so uh, this will translate roughly to something uh, like errors. We should have uh, an error set for that. Error. And for now, is TTY. Uh, maybe it is in IO. I remember there is such a function. TTY. It's here. All right. Um, is a TTY in OS. All right. So we don't have a native error for that. Let's just create one. Not a TTY. Or just not TTY. Yeah. Okay. Sounds all right. So we can have uh, this error returned. And we will uh, do a check, like uh, in here. If we fail, we just return an error from the error union. Our Zeek will help us with handling that. Um, if not OS dot is a TTY, and we pass it a handle dot handle. Mm -hmm. We say it's bad and we want to quit. Yeah. We say return UIVT error not TTY. All right, next line we want to do something at exit, editor at exit, and we want to disable raw mode and at exit is I guess it is something C specific or something imported in these headers because uh, I don't do not remember encountering this uh, at exit somewhere let's just move to the next line then this one we get uh, our original term IOS and uh, where do we get it why do we get this orange term IOS? Ah, oh, it is uh, static. It means it is local to the whole file, like a global variable. We probably don't want any global variables. So we'll just uh, create uh, here UIVT. This is still an this is still an interface. So 
so yeah maybe we should also move raw here it makes sense i think okay raw is um, uh, os term ios and original term ios os term ios okay so maybe we should change uh, our structure a bit we will call it result will initialize this result and we will put uh, everything we uh, need so far in it we will say that raw is undefined and uh, original original is also undefined so we can uh, directly reference uh, any results from this structure okay then let's uh, actually copy this line and uh, this will be tc get attribute tc get attr all right it can also fail let's add this error union will be like so yeah I think like so we can uh, add uh, our error unions together so that they can be uh, like oh I got my stream down is it because I don't have uh, internet oh yeah I don't have an internet I think I will have to fix this pro Oh, I have internet. Sometimes it happens, uh, just random uh, Wi-Fi down. Okay, so let's continue and hope that uh, we, we don't have our stream uh, crashed. I still record uh, things locally, so I should be able to get a clean uh, recording of it. Okay, uh, let's... Uh, so, so, so we are trying to uh, copy this line for about maybe five ten minutes now it's very new for me so i'm not very fast with it okay we get ostc get attribute ostc get attribute and we pass uh, handle we get it from standard input handle okay and we just return our original result dot original term ios we got it okay looks good looks good now we say that uh, we want to copy it let's copy this to raw and maybe if we call it like original and raw it's not uh, their account their uh, their um, meaning is opposite but we don't uh, say it in the name so i think a good strategy is to also make names right and uh, at the very start of the project i think uh, it is still important uh, to uh, name things right maybe even more important than later when we have already an established architecture and we want uh, we know what we want to do original term ios and raw term ios maybe just term ios why, why, how do we even use uh, this uh, raw we just have a raw mode and we don't even use this raw anymore we just uh, temporarily uh, is this correct we don't use it anymore raw mode yeah we just use it uh, temporarily to modify yeah, internet is down whatever i still recorded 
Okay, so we don't really need this raw. We can delete it. And we can move this uh, somewhere here. Yeah, like here. Var raw equals result original terminals. Yep, seems okay. Now we want to modify it. Um, and uh, yeah, we have it copied here. Row dot ci flag. Yeah, can we do that here? We got our term iOS, and I assume it should have uh, same uh, flags. Mm, we need to look at OS bits, and yeah, we should look at something specific. Specific bits Linux. And uh, term IO, iOS. Okay, so we have it like so. Yeah, it seems like it completely copies everything it has. Let's do uh, what it, it this thing here does. Row C flag. We uh, do an end with negated uh, or of these flags, so it means we don't want all of them. Okay, let's do that. C I flag, and we want to end it with. So can we just? Yeah, we can. OS I C R and now. OS dot in PCK is strip. Oh, with, with just a single S is strip. I X O N. Okay, so my internet is down, and uh, uh, so far I don't need it, right? Let's uh, see. Uh, O flag. Now we have another O flag. What uh, O flag? Just uh, O post. Yeah, but uh, we still don't know how it's going to behave. Maybe uh, we should uh, try. Is it going to compile even? Let's try just to call it uh, init and uh, see if it's going to compile. Maybe we should do something about it. We don't care about uh, anything else right now. Just try and we're going to compile. Redefinition of raw and expression of value is ignored. This is a declare identifier result. Okay, let's uh, fix uh, all of these errors. Then 199 var raw where is this defined ah i i think i know yeah it is from new courses okay let's comment all the code uh, here and let's uh, not do using namespace and then result we don't have a declared constant result cannot assign to constant okay variable and uh, yeah i i've got an idea we'll call it raw term ios No member named C I flag. C I flag just I flag. Okay, it is here. Unable to perform binary not operation on time comp time int. Okay, so it means that uh, this thing here in brackets uh, doesn't have a type defined. And uh, since all these uh, things are uh, comp 
compile time integers uh, it tries to guess and it cannot guess so we should probably give it a hint uh, how to interpret these things mm. and uh, what uh, what should it actually be Uh, we have uh, a Zeek example somewhere in Zeek Curses. So in main, I think. Yeah. And it says that it is U unsigned 16, unsigned 8, unsigned 16. Why does it arbitrarily say it is 16 and this is 8? Yeah, I have no idea. Uh, okay, uh, let me do a quick uh, run. I need to uh, quickly... Uh, I need to take a minute, but uh, I, will be back, I will be back soon. All right, hello. So I think we have some connection. Beautiful. Mm, let's continue. So I flag, uh, it doesn't really say what kind of flag it is. So uh, maybe we can Google it to understand which type it is. Or we can just try and guess uh, like which type uh, it is. Uh, okay. Let's uh, mm, try guessing. What if it is going to be... Oh, maybe we have term iOS, right? We have this type. So we should just uh, transform to this type. Yeah. It is TC flag T. Okay, so we apparently can do or, right, but uh, we need to have... Uh, oh. Okay, let me try this. If we say that uh, the first uh, member is uh, this type, is compiler going to understand that all of them should be this type too? Yeah. Yeah, I like it. Uh, so, did it do something? I don't know. Let's just reset it. And uh, let me turn on the stream. Uh, I have one stream that's uh, finished. And uh, save login. I don't want to save my login. I can I got internet disconnection and now I cannot uh, restart my stream. It's like a new stream. Okay. Well, we shouldn't uh, care a lot. There were no viewers anyway. Uh, I think we should just uh, continue with that. Oh, uh, C or flag. It's going to be... Maybe we can make it a bit prettier here like so. No. Uh, how to make it a bit prettier, like so? No. Um, can we just do the next line, like so? 
Okay, it looks fine. <coughs> Sorry. For a moment I thought that uh, Zeek FMT, the formatter, is going to interfere. O flag. And what do we do? Uh, we also end it with an negation of S O S T C flag T and O post. Yeah, we have that. And uh, C flag, as I see here. Yeah, I I saw and says like which uh, what is uh, is the number of bits that it is going to read. We will use uh, one byte, uh, right? Because uh, we are living in the 21st century. Not a lot of machines have different uh, sizes than eight bits. Raw term iOS C flag. And we or it with os.cs8. Oh, apparently we don't have it. Uh, well, do we have something else? Maybe we can uh, find it together with icrnl. All right, uh, familiar flags. What about? No, we have it, just our auto-completion didn't highlight it for us, so we should be good. And now local mode. I don't know, well here I kind of understand what these do and local mode, I'm just f fully unaware of what it does and I hope I won't have to understand it completely. It could be just ancient machines with serial ports and stuff. L flag and uh, okay, something is strange going on with the stream. I do not understand. Connect streaming software to go live. Stop in stream. Ah, okay. Internet connection is not the best, so I guess I shouldn't. Uh, I shouldn't uh, like uh, expect uh, uh, that everything's going to work as, as I want. TC flag, TC flat, flag, yeah. Typo here. TC flag, OS. Dot echo, and we or with with I. Uh, I C A N O N E X T N and E SIG. Okay, so far so good. Now we also say this and this, All right? Right term iOS term iOS C C this uh, term iOS. TCSA, we also have it, alright, it's good. And CC and CC and like 32 bits, right? And we have V mean, I suppose. V mean, okay, V mean equals to 1, or oh, sorry, 0. And so uh, V time equals to one, one hundred milliseconds. Okay, that looks good. Put terminal in raw mode after flushing. So we have uh, constructed our uh, structure. Let's now apply it to the terminal. Um, Raw mode, so do we want to have a raw mode? Yeah, probably not. I don't see a clear reason to have it. Let's just apply it and uh, hope for the best. Try uh, T 
TC set. Oh no. Uh, try TC set, TC set attribute. So let's just TC set attribute. Just uh, grab for it uh, because there are so many places where it can be. It is in OS, right? Term iOS get error set error. We also have to change the error union here. Get to set OS TC set attribute handle it is standard input dot handle and optional action tcsa so we saw it tc tcsa dot and uh, it is something uh, which we will uh, fill in in a second and like so right right Okay, and uh, we need this TCSA, which was uh, the bits, I think, Linux TCSA. Um, maybe in OS TCSA, maybe in IO. <laughs> okay, it's so hard to navigate it. Bits Linux. Yeah, in OS dot uh, TCSA dot flush. Is this correct? Yes. Flush. Okay, is this going to compile? And we also want to have a D in it, but for now, let's try that. A use of undeclared identifier. Yeah, they should be qualified with OS module. And do we have a broken terminal? No, we don't. So does it mean it worked? I have no idea, but let's uh, maybe try to optimize it. Const UI UI like so oops usually when they have a broken terminal or something strange happens with, with new curses applications like these ones so far nothing strange how do, how do I even tell if uh, like something is happening do we just believe that everything is fine well, we didn't get any errors, at least. Okay, okay. No idea how to check it. But let's just roll with that. Uh, we have our raw mode, uh, and let's just uh, de-need our raw mode. Right, we will have and they need and we will pass self as a pointer UIDT and we will uh, it will be void and it will it can also fail UIDT error so what does it say about uh, de-initialization? Um, disable raw. Uh, so we just uh, remove the old uh, setting. No, I mean we just apply the original setting. Yeah, it looks fine. So when we de-init, we also want uh, to put uh, standard input and original term IOS to uh, some uh, states, I guess. And uh, here we have this e-raw mode to uh, do something in case uh, 
we already have set it yeah here we can do what uh, we can just make this a nullable field and say that if we have something in original term ios it means that we initialized and we should restore it to something and after we restore we can set it to null yeah i think it makes sense to do so uh, yeah and uh, we write it like so if self original term ios or reach or just term ios we do try tc set attribute cell does the in handle um do we do it in uh TCA flush or something like that. Yeah, TCA flush, same stuff as here. Let's just copy it. And we use uh, this original term iOS. Yeah, like so. This looks fine, and uh, we can uh, just put it in the defer statement. Uh, we can do what we can also have an error defer if we uh, uh, fail to initialize we want to clean up this is the first time I will use the error defer construct of the Zik language okay let's uh, put it where maybe after we initialize it, yeah, something like here. Yeah, because we initialize it and we want to de-initialize it after that. That's also original, uh, a good practice to uh, put uh, null in every value that uh, we de-initialize. Error defer de uh, the init result dot the init okay that looks right let's put some code in here const ui and after we create it we also want to initialize it we kind of repeat the code here and uh, here but at the same time it makes sense because uh, we want to be clean when we initialize and we get an error we want uh, to clean up the state right uh, if we if we get some troubles we want to put it to null i guess some kind of uh, say that this uh, free space you can uh, get your memory back I guess it makes sense to do so and uh, yeah let's uh, let's try and put something on the screen we spent some time uh, trying to initialize it properly now let's uh, it is the time for the fun part i guess we want uh, to put something on the screen we will use the simplest method possible we will just directly put characters on the screen a more smart solution would be to use a buffer uh, put it into buffer and then put it on the screen with a single command but uh, we are not smart uh, just yet so far we can allow ourselves to be a little bit more simple and dumb. Okay, so we'll have uh, print, I guess. It is in the struct UIVT 100. And we will print, uh, print characters. Do we want to have the same uh, thing that Zeke uh, 
as uh, like a reader interface yeah, maybe a bit later for now let's not even print but just add stream and we will add everything we want to add uh, to the screen we want to take a pointer to self ivt100 and we want uh, to get our stream yeah const u8 and we can fail doing so so i guess we also want our std out in the initialize because we should know where we uh, are supposed to output things all right it looks similar to this one we just change in to out okay add stream and uh, we say just self std out writer dot print write all string yeah it looks like so let's test it uh, it looks very simple uh, i thought that we like we will have to spend uh, like this many this many lines of code maybe it is a lot simpler than i thought it is because it seems really hard after porting the whole new curses library it looks like very hard so now we use our ui we don't need a dumb uh, assignment to nothing mm we say ui we say try ui add string and we pass our hello world are we going to succeed and uh, let me see we should use try here as i understand okay yeah and we should wait some time for the screen to not go away the moment of truth okay let's let's uh, solve some errors we have and one here i flagged type linux does not support field access so uh, we, this is nullable nullable um, result original term oh i see i see uh, we made this thing nullable so when we reference it here we should uh, also say that yeah we really do want our original term ios it is not null error is ignored try consider using try catch or if yeah so uh, i'm not sure how to properly handle errors in the defer statement uh, maybe uh, for now i will do it like this uh, that's catch and uh, something like this std debug dot print uivt 100 yeah, maybe we should do it uh, like uh, in in this function as well. Or no, 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 no. It will be a bit wrong with abstractions. D need error. Error. Yeah, three R's is the right amount of R's. Yeah, like so now they all seem to use same error and one eight this one 
self dot std in handle okay so about these handles maybe it is not uh, very wise to do so what do these functions actually do get uh, std out std in out so they just uh, construct some Conditions. So, for example, uh, for Linux, IO get std and handle. They're kind of cheap, right? Maybe we shouldn't uh, keep them and just read them as if we always can recreate them. And uh, it also doesn't make sense like uh, doing a, a stream because we can also or always do this thing but it also somewhat uh, makes sense because we can redirect them std in std out can we use words in and out in stream out stream Maybe these are correct names. In stream, out stream. Because uh, std in and std out, they bleed to many implementation details. Okay, let's just uh, use our brilliant ZLS for renaming. In stream and out stream our stream <laughs> our stream now this is our stream all right and like so and maybe even result 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 the init like so return and just put it in line like so yeah this looks cleaner to me let's try to compile it one more time no member named std out okay okay it didn't uh, our uh, uh, stream we should say ZLS didn't rename it exactly completely in all places or exactly in all places like here too it is also possible that uh, when we have something on the screen and we would like to inspect a character we will read from our out stream uh, usually we write to our stream so it displays on the screen but I don't know what it's going to be when we read it and I also don't know we all, almost always read from in stream std in but what if we write to std in stream it is going to be like a loop and we will read same stuff which we write Using try one seven seven. Yeah, here we uh, want to just do nothing, I guess. Oh, maybe just the uh, same stuff. Same as here. We here uh, try to be clever and use uh, zig zen. Zig zen. And uh, it says resource allocation may fail resource deallocation must succeed so i guess this kind of stuff is uh, the implementation i'm still not sure about it but uh, it looks like it should be 193 and it says no member named std in instruct uivt Okay, it is the wrong line for sure. One nine five. 
Ah, here. In stream. And... Wow. Did you see that? We did it. And what if we go with that? Oh, so good. Yeah, we did it. This is uh, like uh, like a typewriter. We put uh, just new line and it goes uh, one line below. And we put a carriage return and it goes to the very beginning of the stream. So it's like a real typewriter, you know. Uh, a typewriter is like a mechanical machine where you press buttons, they click clack very loudly and you have something on your paper typing. And uh, there was a carriage return that you press it and it uh, puts this uh, typing head at the very beginning of uh, the typewriter so we can uh, type from the new, like, new line, right? And uh, on Windows, uh, this is still like a canonical line ending. And Linux uh, says, okay, we can use just uh, uh, reverse slash n. But now we are in a land where everything is manual. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's not so good. We will see. So far it looks nice. We did this stuff can safely delete it. Then e, we can delete this stuff. Okay, so we have hello world. Maybe it's time to celebrate and commit our changes. Hello world with handwritten VT100 uh, backend, yeah? UI backend. All right. Let me drink some, like a uh, victory tea. All right. Let's uh, try to display the actual content of a file that we have. Hmm? I think it's a good idea. So we will basically use this code, but we will write it with our own implementation. So here we uh, try to count lines, right? Okay, we have some things and we are basically interested only in this stuff. So I know there is uh, a difference between printing a string and printing just a single character. Uh, even in terms of terminals, they have some kind of optimization uh, for single character things. So uh, yeah, maybe it's uh, also not so true because we're not going to print single characters on the screen when we draw it in the very beginning. We still want to put it in the buffer. So any abstractions at this point would be irrelevant later. Yeah, let's uh, add string and we pass a single space as a string. I think we can also uh, like expose a writer, right? Zeke has a beautiful interface with reader, writer, and I think we should just expose the writer interface. Yeah, what do you think? Mm. I think it's a good idea. We just uh, say here's the writer, you can do whatever you want with it. Yeah, I like it. I'm a fan writer, it's a classic function. Classic, uh, f classical, classic function name, I should say. And we just uh, io dot writer, I guess, like so. Turn self outstream 
writer yeah and we can do it here writer and we can use uh, everything from the writer interface and it's uh, quite a lot quite a lot here is like uh, some native stuff i still do not fully understand how it work works but uh, there are some nice functions like write byte n times this is what we are actually going to use let's just copy it here write byte n times what we do here is we uh, manually write byte n times and in Zeek we have a, even a special function for that well extract optimizations mm. okay so self byte n size this is our byte and we write it exactly i times yep and we also want to do some printing and ui writer print and try refresh we don't have refresh so how do you like it let's see i think it's going to be broken because uh, for example here we have to use this carriage carriage return and uh, we should insert it somewhere but let's uh, try it is going to compile so fun now 188 here okay one more time 188 188 here so it it needs uh, some kind of a type right and for outstream we need a type it is from file right uh, we have uh, outstream is of type file maybe file has uh, some type for us writer Yeah, we just should use the file file one, not a generic I/O writer. Uh, yep, here and it is stdfs file dot writer. Yeah, that 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 is what I would expect. So this is all good, all good, right? We just need to do a carriage return when uh, we insert a new line. So far, so good. So far, so good. Okay, so uh, there is also a problem with uh, this exposing directly a writer, like so, as a to this uh, outstream, because we probably want to do some uh, additional writes, right? like. Right like here on every new line we also want to add a carriage return after that and it's why is it slow we probably wait uh, in not a, a good uh, time we have a wait here like time sleep and we sleep uh, before actually printing something Let's do it here. And since we don't clear anything, we can actually not wait. Yeah, now it's fast. All right. Now let's uh, try and do it uh, in a smarter way. So maybe we can right uh, maybe we can expose our custom interface maybe we can call it raw writer right because uh, we expose it directly uh, expose it directly like for our std outstream for all the ex escape sequences and so on but uh, we can also write uh, our custom writer yeah and uh, we can just copy implementation from the file 
will need a function that does writing and we will need uh, basically need something like that and maybe we also want to get a look at this write interface implemented not in the file but in array list there is a write interface too yeah and they have uh, append write specifically for this writer interface so we want to implement something like that let's put it here yep yep so std i o writer self a pointer to self in our case it will be this name yes or we can start using self i'm still not sure what's uh, better there is a convention that uh, you can use just like so and instead of this term you will use uh, this self everywhere but uh, i'm not sure how well is it standard library also doesn't uh, use this self consistently so i'm a bit uh, i have some doubts whether it is a good or bad approach so when in doubt let's uh, do uh, things conservatively if, this, if there is such a word as conservatively out of memory um, I am actually not sure which uh, we should uh, have this function which uh, is going to tell us what's going uh, what errors uh, this function should return these kinds of errors so far we don't know uh, what uh, are we going are we going to return exactly maybe we can call it writer fan we also have this uh, struct here m why is it m at least stir for string now we can return the size of the string to conform to the interface and now we probably should just uh, use same errors what uh, fs file writer errors yeah writer fn let's go to fs file which errors does it have write error so fs file write error std fs file write error write file error write error yeah let's just use write error and now we do try get uh, oh no we should do it a bit smarter we will have our raw writer our raw writer that will be self dot raw writer okay and it can be a const i guess is writer a const i don't know Let's use a const. If it's uh, going to be an error, we will change it to var. Now we want to be smart when we want to write uh, something to, uh, to the raw writer. Let's uh, do an iteration. And let's use full names. It's like we're not in C world. So we iterate uh, over every character and uh, we do what? We want to write it using a row writer, but if we encounter a new line, we also want to add carriage return symbol to it. Okay, this sounds correct. We will uh, 
our row writer and let's have a look at the writer interface one more time print write byte yeah we will use write byte i guess write byte and uh, this byte and if our byte is new line we also do write byte and we write carriage return so we uh, didn't uh, we don't need to change anything up because we use same writer function and the old function we used was renamed to raw writer let's try now okay we should use try one more time redefinition of raw writer yeah we cannot use uh, the same uh, functions and uh, variables name variable names are not allowed I guess also there is string well sometimes uh, it's good that uh, we don't have a single uh, uh, we don't have like a space for uh, variables for variable names and some space for function names that live in two separate worlds everything is in one but it, it's also sometimes a bit annoying when uh, like how do you call it like get raw writer like uh, op world object oriented maybe not the right idea maybe we can just call it writer but it will conflict with this okay so this is why we'll have to use something like raw rtr uh, Berter. <laughs> no, I don't like this name. Okay. Uh, raw writer. Oops. Well, I think maybe, maybe you can just use it like so because uh, this function doesn't really do much. Is it in line the way it's used? Right, uh, no, it's not in line, so no, let's not enlighten it either. And wow, we printed everything. Wow, what uh, what if you want to print uh, more than the screen size? In the new QSS implementation, we got a crash when we tried to print more than this is about, uh, like here we see, like. 54 right so it's like uh, about 54 we have max height 24 let's put it to 100 yeah yeah i like it we made a cat program but uh, better i guess oh no maybe not better I'm still not sure if we get the right uh, terminal like uh, terminal state because it prints it here and new curses does not print it like here it just creates a new terminal completely something new let's uh, try maybe to sleep for some time and only print uh, good old 24 okay so what i want to do is i want to clear the screen completely like this one shouldn't be here so maybe we can also put it inside initialize function because when we initialize we also want to clear the screen is this right probably yes so do we have something like clear in the kilo our proof of concept implementation clear no we don't okay so uh, we use in 
raw mode, but uh, now we need some way to acknowledge that yes, we did use raw mode and we got some benefits because so far I don't see anything uh, particular about this code. Like, what does it even do? Why did I write it for 20 minutes? Mm -hmm. Well, so far it looks like I'm doing everything correctly. OS Yes, term iOS and set get no pointers, everything should work correctly. We should get all the errors. Okay, TC TCSA flush. What's uh, flush? Maybe we should uh, read the main page on uh, this thing and uh, get the flush. TCSA flush. The change occurs after all output written to the object referred by FD has been transmitted and all input that has been received but not read will be discarded before the change is made. Okay, so it uh, shouldn't affect anything because it just says that we will apply these settings after my shell. I use fish shell after my shell finished with all the input output uh, procedures. So maybe there is uh, a code uh, like escape code for clearing the screen and we can just uh, write it somehow like a uh, fan clear self UI VT 100 void we'll do something like raw writer and we will add uh, several bytes we say write all write all and we supply a string we want to, to write. So I have some codes. Maybe we can find something to clear the screen. Okay, next. Maybe here. Clear. Load the next page in many pro and maybe use to separate logical division call some terminal. It clears the screen. Still in some common plain text as a page break. Yeah, this is a page break. Uh, maybe we have uh, something better. I remember I have some codes. Yeah, this is escape sequences. Probably what we want to do. This is our escape sequence. 2j 2j let's find it here too two j here's ju just j and two j clear entire screen yeah this is what we want exactly and uh, since uh, we want also to uh, print uh, an escape sequence we'll use print we will use this c i guess for a single byte right let's uh, check the uh, fmt i think for a byte okay not here here's the specification of all the letters that we can write UTF-8 integers ASCII character as an UTF-8 sequence. Yeah, I think we should use this uh, C here. This is like big enough. Yeah. What's uh, standard? Yeah, one plus. I use uh, one uh, uh, size larger than my standard font for recordings, so you can see it better. And uh, we have uh, somewhere like E, oh, ASCII, right? ASCII, 
std ascii control code and we have in control code escape 0 0 x 1 b classic like starter of the sequences std dot uh, ascii dot control code dot escape okay now clear the screen so this is escape as i understand and we need to also add this these strings yeah looks like so yep so are we good can we just uh, clear the screen now we have fn clear and on init we would like also to clear the screen please so, um, result dot clear moment of truth behold oh god almost almost Try result clear. Something expected, something found. Mm, yeah. So we should add some more errors, I think. More file errors, yeah? This one, since... Uh, we should write something on initialization. We will also have a set of these errors too. Moment of truth. Oh, very, very good. So now I think we should do one last thing. We should, uh, we cleared the screen, yeah? And we should do something to not uh, put this line because, as I understand, now if we run it again, we will have this uh, lower half of the screen filled up and this will be just blank. Let's try it. Yeah. So, what happens is that uh, we start printing stuff when we say please print something on the screen, we do it at the cursor position. And what we want is to put the cursor position at the very beginning, at the upper left corner. And there is also an escape code for that, if I remember correctly. And we will call it something like reset cursor, I think. Or we can also do it in a sequence with clearing the screen. Right, I think we rarely should uh, clear the screen, but save the cursor position. It would be convenient if we can clear the screen and also reset the cursor position. Yeah, okay. We will uh, later optimize it, but for now we will just do it in two separate calls. So let's find something to home. Yeah, and this is left bracket H, capital H. Yeah, let's do that. We cleared the screen, or we can do it like, like that. And very good. And now, one more time, very good. Mm -hmm. So I think this is uh, good enough, yeah, like so, like so, yeah. Mm, we should also, I think, uh, restore the screen to the last state uh, we had. So for example, if I use my current editor, Cocoon, 
here at I enter it, when I quit, it uh, restores everything as it was before. So uh, I'm not yet sure how to do that. We should somehow save what we have before and we probably do it here. But I'm not sure if we also save all the data that was previously on the screen to restore it later. Yeah, kind of uh, like uh, kind of lo I'm kind of lost in all these uh, flags. I do not uh, fully understand all their meaning. Okay, but we still have some progress. Uh, so what would be the last uh, thing we would like to do? right now. Well, maybe it is all we want to do for now. Yeah? It seems like we did some progress. We output, uh, we can output to the screen. Yeah, we can clear it, we can output it. It's pretty fast without any flickering uh, because uh, we use uh, separate calls like here we do some calls to put lines and we do some calls uh, like every line takes uh, two write calls one to write the number another to write it here the actual line of this file but it's still pretty fast yeah what about uh, if we say this is going to flicker Yeah, a little bit. I can see a bit of, um, how to say it, uh, when something tear, tearing, yeah, I, th I think it's called tearing. Maybe you don't see it on the recording, yeah, but uh, I can see like a bit of tearing happening on the screen. Okay, so this is our working version. Let's commit what we have. Yep, print out the file content to the screen. Okay, this uh, seems enough for today's session. Uh, let's uh, continue in the next session. So, see you. Bye.